you very much. Thank you for the invitation tonight. I'm going to talk about quantum. So quantum is really the future of digital. We will be able uh, in very soon to, con to build uh, quantum computers that will multiply our um, calculation power. Today, processors are based on bits that uh, can have the values of zero or one. The qubits, the quantum bits, can have at the same time the value of zero and one. This gives us the possibility to really increase our computing capacities uh, exponentially. We will have uh, case studies, we will have application in every kind of industries. Every industry that deals with optimization problems, every industry that deals, that deals with logistics, uh, every industry that deals with AI, with cybersecurity, will be impacted by this new revolution. Uh, now, the, uh, it's still uh, in the terms of fundamental research. Uh, there's a whole uh, lot of different technologies that are being tested, and we don't know yet which one will prevail. Uh, so this is happening in the labs, it's happening around researchers, it's happening at, on spin-offs, so these uh, startups that come from uh, research uh, projects or uh, research, research centers. Centers, and what we really need is to start putting everyone around the table, the industries, the VCs, the governments, so that we can pull this technology out of the labs and into uh, the real industry. We really need to scale up uh, this, this technology. So we will have, as I was saying, uh, very different applications. Uh, we will have, for instance, applications in the financial world for optimizing portfolios. Uh, we will have, um, we will have uh, use cases around smart city, for instance, uh, for optimization of roads, uh, optimization of traffic management. Uh, we will have uh, applications uh, on the health industry. Uh, we will have applications around AI. So, uh, for instance, recommendations, algorithms on uh, the, um, uh, the industry, uh, on social media. Uh, so we will have a great deal of applications. And a lot of them we don't know yet. So we need to work with the industries to prepare this revolution. Uh, we really need to understand this new framework because everything is going to change. The way we understand digital, the way we code, the way we secure our information systems, the way we secure our communications online. And we need to work with the industry to identify these use cases and go from a technology push um, uh, like a framework to a market pool uh, framework. So in this situation, uh, the, a lot of countries are starting to invest and to take uh, this uh, revolution very seriously. We have the United States, of course, we have China, we have the big techs uh, like Google or Microsoft, and uh, France and Europe has the possibility uh, to be a leader in this, in this new industry. We have in France very good researchers. Uh, we have very good uh, research centers that are working, for instance, on quantum software, on uh, uh, quantum um, uh, applications, uh, different, different kind of, of applications. But what we need is to really build this ecosystem uh, that will accompany and support uh, these actors that are still isolated. So the government uh, has uh, asked me to uh, write a report to launch a national plan on quantum. Uh, I'm working with Jordanis Kerenedis, that is a very well-known researcher uh, on quantum software, and with Jean-Paul Hertmann, which is the ex-CEO of Safran. Uh, 
so we really have the different pers perspectives around the table because we have uh, the researcher, we have the politician, and uh, we have the industry, and we'll be able to have uh, a sense of this, the, the big picture and, and everyone that we need to have around the table. So these uh, recommendations that we are working on will be announced uh, uh, around October and we will have um, a, a big event and a challenge that is how to explain also these, uh, these issues to the general public. So we'll try to make it uh, as simple and as understandable by everyone. So we, we really have... Um, I mean, this will have an economic impact uh, that we don't uh, imagine uh, still. This is the second quantum revolution. We already had a quantum revolution that was based on physics, on quantum physics, and we had um, applications that really changed our daily life. For instance, the USB keys, uh, the GPS, uh, the lasers, are all technologies that are based on quantum technologies, on quantum physics. And now we will be able to do digital based on quantum. So we don't even imagine yet uh, which will be uh, the applications that, that will come along. There is also a very important issue with Quantic is the geopolitical issue. Uh, because with uh, quantum technology, we will be able to uh, crack uh, cybersecurity encryption codes. Uh, we will be able to crack the uh, RSA uh, key that is used for all, all our communications online. And uh, the countries that will have this computer uh, will be able to uh, to see our private uh, messages, to see maybe uh, national security information. So there's a, a very there's a challenge for governments to protect and to build cybersecurity that is um, resistant to quantum. Uh, there is also an economic challenge for governments because the first country that will have this technology uh, will have a, a competitive advantage and will certainly identify this technology as, as strategic assets and there will maybe be um, embargoes around this technology and uh, this technology might not be uh, exported uh, or commercialized uh, for uh, at the international level. So it's a very strategic issue uh, in terms of geopolitics for uh, a, a government, a national government, to work on this issue. So we have been doing several auditions uh, and we will have uh, the recommendations in a couple of months. So I encourage you, uh, members of, of this industry and uh, actors uh, to tonight, here present tonight, to really start training your employees, to start training uh, the people you work with uh, on these issues because uh, it will be really a revolution that will turn the industry uh, upside down. Thank you very much for your attention and um, see you soon.